video, I'm going to teach you how to generate relief and heal shed from uh, SRTM data, which is an elevation data in QGIS. This is a simple step that you can use to generate good relief and heal shed data for a further analysis um, using QGIS. The first thing you do already, I have uh, loaded my SRTM data into the QGIS uh, viewer. I'm going to use the processing tool, which can be got from processing. You double click and the tool will uh, appear on the right hand side of the uh, of the of the of the QGIS window. Now the first thing to do is to go to raster terrain analysis. There are a lot of um, uh, there are about six type of analysis to be done but today I'm going to teach you how to do relief and heel shed. So for us to do a heel shed analysis we will double click on the heel shed icon. Here is my SRTM data. You leave everything the way it is, the azimuth, horizontal, and the rest. If you want to save your work, you can go to save and navigate to a file that you want to save it in. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to run it and see how it works. So you click run. It will take some minute, and after some minute, here we go. You have your heel shed data from the SRTM. Okay, with this, we can do some manipulation. The first thing we do, we will bring the heel shared file below the SRTM data so that we will uh, improve the visualization. So we have uh, overlaid on top of the heel shared data. But the first thing we do, we right click and go to property. From property, we can see a lot of things that we can do with the uh, hill shed. We can turn it into a single band pseudo color so that we can get a different um, representation of the topography using color band. Here, we have a lot of color RAM that can be used depending on your, on your uh, test. You can choose uh, either uh green red whatsoever thing that you want to choose it is up to you if you have seen any color that you like you can click ok you can say apply and close and it will change the color but to improve the visualization it is better sometimes to choose uh equal intervals so that you can minimize the classes to like five or four then click classify, click apply, and it will change everything. So it depends on the symbolism that you want. But well, let me take it back to the gray, to the uh, single gray band, single band gray. So let's do some visualization using the original uh, SRTM data. Just like what we did, you can right click and go to property. In the symbolism, we can change this one to single band pseudo color and choose a good color representation that will give us different height using color difference in height from one level to another using color. Let me choose um, red and click apply. We can see the visualization has improved a bit. So now let us make it a bit transparent so that we can see the hill shed below the uh, below the uh, um, the uh, SRTM. We can increase the transparency to like sixty, so that it will enable us to still view the view shed below the SRTM. So we can see the places with um, dark red are the point with higher elevation compared to the lighter 
point. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is to generate relief. We double click the icon. We use the same SRTM data, the merge. Here I will generate relief classes automatically. I will click that. As I said earlier, you can save your work if you want to into a file, but I'm not saving it for this tutorial. Click run, and after some seconds, the data will be ready. Okay, we have our relief. Uh, so this is the relief from the SRTM. Relief usually show places of uh, lowest and highest uh, elevation. If you want to improve the visualization, also you can go to the property. You can choose any color that you want to, and you can do further analysis on this. Thank you for watching this tutorial. My next tutorial will be on generating contour from uh, SRTM data. Thank you so much.